point anyway, got to ask you those, those kind of pure political questions. Why does a, a Democratic office holder with a long history serving in the legislature as a Democrat decide he is ready, willing to challenge a current veteran Democrat in Congress? So I know you've been careful, to my knowledge, not to criticize Congressman Olver at this point, but what's he not doing right, or what do you think you can do better for the district? Well, Jim, as you know, I have never disparaged any other candidate, and I never will. It's not my style. It's not my practice. Uh, but I will tell you that voters deserve a choice. Primaries are good. Here in Springfield, for example, there was the Hamden County District Attorney's primary not long ago. You had four candidates competing. That's a good thing for voters. It's wonderful. In fact, the District Attorney for the Northwest District, David Sullivan, who is now there, came out of a very difficult primary. Primaries are good. They give voters an opportunity to think about their candidates and think about the issues and choose the kind of leadership they want to have going into the future. The same thing is true for the United States Congress. There has not been a meaningful Democratic primary for either seat in Western Massachusetts in the United States Congress since 1991. Giving Democratic primary voters a choice once every 20 years is not too often. I'm going to play the what if game just a couple of more times with you here because, as you said, all kinds of things can happen. You made a pretty eloquent argument of why we should keep two congressional seats, but ultimately we know that'll be a decision made sometime late this year by the, uh, the legislator, a lot of uh, members of whom you served with. But what if we end up with one Western Mass district? Will you go into a Democratic primary if, in fact, you would face Congressman Olver, Congressman Richard Neal as well on the ballot? You know, Jim, this reminds me of the question that I got when I was in Fitchburg not long ago, and they said to me, why on earth would you challenge Jim McGovern? <laughs> the the Worcester-based congressman. The Worcester-based, yeah. that's right, the Worcester-based yeah. congressman. It, it doesn't matter where I go in western and central Massachusetts, everybody thinks that the district is going to be drawn in a different way. So rather than respond to hypotheticals and speculation, all I can tell you and promise you is this, that voters will have a choice in western Massachusetts, and my name will appear on the ballot for the United States Congress in 2012.